Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. In an earlier video, I talked about the optimal study design, which is a randomized controlled prospective study. Unfortunately, those are difficult to do and very time consuming. So what's often done and probably more commonly done is what's called a retrospective study. A retrospective study means today I'm going to look back at men treated over the last 10 years and I'm going to get all their records and look at their charts and I'm going to report what happened to them with the different treatments available. And in that way try to make some decision or some conclusion about how one treatment compares to another. So let's say, for example, we were looking at surgery and radiation for prostate cancer. And we said over the last 10 years, we treated X number of men with radiation. We treated Y number of men with surgery. Here's how many men lived 5 and 10 years. Is that a good comparison? The answer, no. There is no way to say if that is a correct conclusion from a study or an incorrect conclusion. It might be right, it might be wrong. It is not sufficiently scientific for us to say and conclude that treatment one is better than treatment two. There's no way to do that. And yet, many of the treatments that are used today, and many of the doctors who talk about treatments, will cite a retrospective study as a basis for why they are recommending a particular treatment to you. Keep in mind that retrospective studies are not sufficiently scientific to make conclusions. They're interesting, they can generate more studies, but without doing the proper trial, a retrospective study is not adequate enough to tell us whether one treatment is better than another. And so if all we have are retrospective studies, keep in mind we're likely to have conflicting results. So when you're making a decision about what to do for your prostate cancer, ask your doctor why they are making their recommendation. Are they making their recommendation on a good scientific study or are they using a retrospective study to cite their basis for the decision? With that information, you will hopefully end up with a better awareness of what's affecting the decision for your therapy. Thank you.